And the 26 Japan Dirt Classic underway. Clean dispatch for the most part. And the 26 Japan Dirt Classic underway. Clean dispatch for the most part. That's from a spot up at the front right now over Forever Young. Back behind. Surprise Zipangu. Ramjet out there in the middle on the outside pod logo. Back of the pack. Well behind there, Black Butler. As we head towards that First turn on the inside. Kashima spot up for every young. Surprise Zipangu. Back of the pack. Well, it's the same as it was before. Black Butler heading around that second turn into the back stretch here with Kashima spot up setting the pace. No surprise there. Forever young back behind in second, third on the outside. Surprise Zipangu. And then comes Fuji Eugene on the outside. Runs at Tono Epic. Then comes Santonori on the outside. Ramjet now making his move, going towards the front. Back behind is Miki Fight. Followed there by Pod Logo, Simme Daisy, Backfather Pond Boy, and the rest as we head up into that third turn. Leading on the inside, Kashima Spada, Forever Young there, Surprise Ipango, and Ramjet on the outside in fourth. As we head towards that final turn, inside, Kashima Spada, Forever Young, outside, Surprise Zipangu, Ramjet, Satoru Nori is still in the mix as well, Satoru Epic up there as well, as we head around that final turn, and now we're racing, heading for home, Kashima Spada, Forever Young, Forever Young looking ready to pounce, and there he goes, Forever Young, getting around Kashima Spada, on the outside, Miki Fight might have a say in the matter as well, a uh, long left to go. Forever Young, Mickey Fight coming down strong now. Forever Young, Mickey Fight one and two. Forever Young, too good. Welcome home. Number one, Forever Young wins the 26th Japan Dirt Classic over Mickey Fight and surprise to Pangu. They're off in the Kentucky Derby. Fierce is at an okay start. He came away in the middle of the pack. Track Phantom will go to the early lead, and now John Velasquez gets fierceness into the mix. Stronghold is there. Epic Ride goes up on the far outside. Just Steel is close up to as they race past the first time. And then comes Mystic Dan down on the inside of West Saratoga. Resilience is next. Then comes Society Man on the outside of Just a Touch, catalytic along the rail. Dordek is next, saving all the ground into that turn. Then comes Catching Freedom, Domestic Product, Rambo the first, then Japan's Forever Young down on the inside. Sierra Leone has three horses beaten. They are T.O. Password, Honor Marie, and Endlessly. So this important half mile coming up here. They run that first half in 46.63 seconds. Pace is even enough, not flying. Track Phantom the leader, Just Steel perched up on the outside second. Fierceness is third just outside of them. Then Stronghold Mystic Dan to the inside. An epic ride three wide. West Saratoga in behind that group. Then Stronghold, he's got seven lengths to make up. Look back for Sierra Leone. He's still about 14 lengths behind as Track Phantom passes the half mile pole with the lead. And Fierceness is moving now. And going right with him is Just Steel. The three of them across the track. Then long shot epic ride. Mystic Dan toward the inside. Stronghold is next. Then Fierceness, Sierra Leone and Forever Young still with work to do. Forever Young is starting to pick it up as they come toward the top of the stretch. It is Fierceness who's moving up on the outside of Track Phantom. And there on the far outside, here comes a run from Stronghold and Resilience. And Resilience has now moved up to take the lead. And Fierceness is given way, coming by the 16th hole. And Mystic Dan is now come through on the inside. It is Mystic Dan down toward the inside with the lead of the final 16th forever young sierra leone is coming these three coming down to the wire who's it going to be oh it's a photo of the derby oh it's a photo was it mystic dan or was it sierra leone Data has a look at them, likes them, and hits the lever. We are underway in the UAE Derby, sponsored by Atlantis, the Royal. And it is it is Julio Holohara in the early stages with his two of his three runners coming up to contest. As
they make their way off the front. It is Autobahn in the blue cap from Oasis Boy spotting the white distinguishing cap. Then came next in running there Guns and Glory, who's a little wide into the first turn, along with Forever Young, who's having to do a fair bit of work there in the early stages, and Ryuze Sake decides to slip back. Mendelssohn Bay finds himself into the box seat now just in behind the leading division. Behind Forever Young sees George Tesoro with Pandergate, working alongside there as well was Navy Seal. Then came Rock Walk from Henry Adams, and Ballon d'Or is the last one. So out past the 1,200 metres they go, and the pace is OK. 8.55, 19.24, those early sections there for that first uh, early part. And up in front now taking over Oasis Boy. Heads over to the fence here from Autobahn in second. Then came Mendelssohn Bay, sliding up Guns and Glory, Forever Young. The international market favourite has been no better than three deep and punching the breeze the entire way so far. Then came Pandergate, Navy Seal, opting to get on the right horses back here. Then came Ballon d'Or from Rockwall and dropping away Henry Adams, who's getting further away from the field. Inside the 700 they go and up in front, up on the running rail, Oasis Boy leads a narrow margin. Our Autobahn goes up to apply a bit of pressure, Forever Young, still travelling despite being deep as they make their way into the home stretch here in the UAE Derby. Then came Mendelssohn. Bay, deeper out Navy Seal, not too far away, Pandergate still with four to pick up. As they get into the running here, Autobahn takes over, Forever Young on the one rein there, but balances up now, comes up to the outside of Autobahn, who has to be brave, it's Forever Young though for Japan, who comes up to the outside of Autobahn, goes past by a length, Forever Young drawing away here in the late stages, and it's another Japan domination in the UAE Derby. Autobahn, very brave in second. Third across Pandergate from Mendelssohn Bay. Then came Navy Seal, Rockwall, Guns and Glory. And not the best away forever young. Just had to be rousted along. The US sandwich broke better on his inside and outside. And Forever Young, just nudged along early, is going to have to do it the hard way here, as out on the lead, Ajwadi, in company with Hayit, are one of the first to show. Also moving forward in the uh, early stages is set up for Japan. That horse is just being tracked through by Salam al Care. Forever Young's now got clear daylight, just inclined to lug out to the right slightly, as Ben Tonato makes ground now up on the outside. So Ben Tonato disputing it with set up, and on the inside, Hayit. They're being followed through in fourth place by Ajwadi and then behind these we have Salam al Care. Oasis Boy in midfield Forever Young is three back or three up wide on the outside following Bookham Dano at this stage with Satono Phoenix one struggling to lie up is Saudi Naom as they make the turn and it's set up who has the lead from Ben Tonato in second Bookham Dano in third now Forever Young begins a sweeping move on the outside of Ajwadi as they make their way with Hayit as they straighten Ben Tonato the first one to commit behind these Bookham Dano the Americans go 1-2. Now Forever Young is forced to dig in because he's given them a three-length start at the top of the home run. It is Ben Tonato and Bookham Dano. Forever Young at this stage is flat. He's got three lengths still to find. 300 metres to do it as Bookham Dano moves through to lead for Iran Ortiz. Now Forever Young, belatedly beginning to pick up. Bookham Dano needs 